Okay, I've seen a few suggestions on the internet about seating a troublesome tire. It's a brand new trailer tire. And it's almost impossible to seat the bead on it because of the space here. The giant space and the air just gets out. Unfortunately, somewhere I have the proper kind of chuck which would allow me to fill this without um, having the valve in, so you get all that volume of air. But I still think I'd have a problem with this one, and I tried everything, you know, I put the strap around it and pulled it in, and I've actually been mounting tires for a very long time, probably 40 years in my backyard, but I never tried this uh, system that's suggested, which is putting a bicycle inner tube, assuming this one even fits, around here and inflating it to fill this gap. And I'm going to see if it works with a regular air chuck, and I can get this uh, tire seated on the bead, which would be nice. Okay, I'm going to start with a little bit of soapy water. I'm going to soap this sucker up. Just a little bit of Dawn detergent. Hopefully, it makes a better seal around the, uh, like between here and the tire rim. Too much water in there. I always think in terms of get too much of this down in there. Whatever you put in there stays in there for the life of the tire. So I try to avoid that. Anyway, the rim is pretty clean. Okay. Let's see if I can get this sucker on here. Hoping I got the right size here. It seems so small. I bought a. It's a 14-inch rim. This is wrong. Let's see what happens here. There we go. Let's pull the cap off. Okay. Let's see what that does. Okay. Well, there we go. Look at that. That looks pretty good. We've got a nice seal there already, it looks like. Never done this before. I actually saw there's some kind of mounting, tire mounting device, which basically looks like one. It just looked like a bicycle inner tube, and I was wondering if that's all they really were. Let's see. Okay, yeah. This side was still... Okay. All right. Now I get that down in the tire where I'll never get it out again. I'll pick that up here like this. More air in there. There we go. Hmm. Let's give it a shot, so to speak. I really wish I had one of those. I actually bought one of the type. I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Well, I'll be damned. Check this sucker out. Holy crap. Oops, it's a grass in there. That'll always be in there. It's actually freaking working. Ah. <laughs> I didn't want to crush my... It's like some kind of goddamn magic, I gotta tell you. Oof. Boy, that took the fight out of it. Well, I'm gonna put my fingers in there, which I just did. I think I'll just dribble this in there now. Uh, like a little bit. I don't think it's going in the tire, because I think the bead's almost there. Yeah, see, there's only probably 20 pounds there, Max. Didn't hurt this either. I was worried it would, like, pop that sucker. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Well, I saw a couple of guys do this on the web. It's just so hard to imagine that it would actually work. There you go. 
basic liner tube. And this, of course, is the size of the, the rim I bought. I thought it was way too small. It looked too small, as you saw, like stretching it on. But um, it's a 14-inch rim. I bought a 14-inch inner tube. I think it cost six bucks. I was sorry about paying six dollars at the time because I didn't think it would work. Turns out it was pretty cheap.